So they do have options for later shredding it, uh, the resistances for team fights, plus giving Summit the Camille. Shrug um, off in lane phase where the victor, again, that side of the matchup, I feel is, is the aggressive part as Pledge actually jumps on in on it. Ooh, it's oh, aggressive. Nice. Just gonna force the flash. Blab is here as well, just gonna walk on in, put up the pillow. Oh, it's going fast! Fast blind for Blabber! The chomp from Blabber here! And it is Summit! Oh my god, what a flash from him! A little bit aggressive, make sure this wave moves on in. And oh goodness, they're actually going for the engage. The knockup, I think, barely missing from Isles. And now the counter gank here from Inspired. Vulcan moved up as well. Flashes in, gets the slow, <laughs> gets the root. Blabber in so much trouble. But Trundle's pretty tanky, not tanky enough. Jojo gets his own kill. Attention towards topside. Summit finally gets a lane where he can fully abuse his advantage. And he's got a cull on top of uh, the possible dive. Level six on, but pretty low hit for impact. Great double knock him. Here comes the on horn. And there's someone coming in. He dodges the ulti and gets the 1v1 kill. And he gets out. Beautiful stuff here. Very easy to use your immunity okay, frame but don't there. Be greedy. <laughs> yeah, finishes off the extra minions. And let's see how the cooldown on Hookshot is looking. It's up. Summit's like, yep, I'm, uh -oh, I'm chilling. He's hiding. All right, can't hide. Summit, precision protocol buffs. And uh, Inspire's going to finish this off. Jungle gets the kill, yep. Inspired takes the gold. Wow, Blabber and Fudge move in response to this uh, Rift Herald, which they've got a ward Ooh, on the whole time. Blabber gets knocked up, the Chaos Storm is dropped, and Jodra finds the kill. Fudge barely able to Valk out of the way. Inspired low, but not to blow that cooldown. But Cloud9 are going to get the first dragon, and let's... Nope, nothing going on. Blabber gets it. But it has not too bad as far as gold goes, I'm sure. For the Jinx, again, Cloud9's bottom lane. Definitely playing more like those scaling cells. Blabber is going to get involved here, though, but it's a 3v2. Jarvan over the top, the Devourer's burnt down, and Isles just gets killed off by Jojo and fired locked in the pit, though, Fudge! Able to get that kill in the Jarvan Cataclysm, and Blabber now going to get jumped on. Danny, we're going to try and find the solo, donate! Gameplay, laning phase is, is, of course, the ego part of gameplay, and then you transition into the team fight phases uh, towards the mid stages, and the top side. They sent Blabber up to Summit to try and trade on top side tower. Take down this tower, yeah, Summit's going to trade, but the T2s are worth so much bonus gold. 800 for the team, with local and with team-wide gold for you, so... Huge, huge rewards there in advance of the dragon. And here goes Summit trying to... <laughs> Ooh! It's gonna be close. Impact has to just stand there and take the pain. 1v1 Summit, they're not gonna be able to get it. It was awfully close. Don't Summit make much headway in these team fights. Again, though, EG, continue on giving up dragons. They are unperturbed by the dragon stacking for Cloud9. This game is much further delayed. So also very reasonable uh, in this one to give them up. Yeah, getting extra gold as well. They got the Herald, which presumably will turn into some gold. The scaling thing. picks, if they get gold early, then you can fight oh them goodness. off of those Dragon Soul fights. You know, Trundle coming from jungle is much underfed. Summit, though, is the next target. Summit targeted again. He gets knocked up, and he gets closed in. I mean, this far up, no flash. What are you supposed to do? Unfortunately for Summit, the answer is going to be die. He's going to look to try and take out impact, but he's in a 1v4. He's not going to get the trade, and Jojo of all The lower bracket, and everybody now trying to repeat. Oh, it's a painful Berserker. Wrong brush. Uh, Fudge is trying to scale. He's got his Muramana completed, but his Ludens is not done. Summit, I think, yeah, just trying to be cheeky, but he's going to get somewhat punished. That Chaos Storm is a significant chunk of damage, even with only a couple ticks. And EG, get what they really came for in this play, taking another... Because Jojo's got the answers to even the magic resistance before you even build it. The front lines will be blocking them. Fudge, though, trying to do work. He has package. What an angle here. The Orn ulti. Devour from Isles does save Berserker for a while, but Danny's trying Fudge to chase someone to TP'd in. Trundle ulti pop, Fudge getting low though, Summit looking for the perfect flank, dives on in, but it may be too deep, Blabber's gonna join him, but Fudge can't go in there, Summit left completely alone by his team, and EG just waltz on through, it's inspired, going back through, there's the ulti finally, perfect in the choke point, and Danny is gonna free fire down Berserker, somebody <laughs> please give Jojo the last. splash kill, Inspired is trapped in the pit, gets rooted by a chomper, but it's just going to be a steal, and there is no steal. Cloud9 commit everything right down there in the bottom lane. So no this flash is or a either. flip or nothing. They're going to go in there with the Jinx Rocket. They can't steal the Baron. Can they get out alive? Looks like the answer is yes. But only a tower for Summit here in the bottom side. Not even close to the inhib. Experience and LCS finals. They're marching their way straight towards one, though, and Summit wants to stop them. Yeah. Oh, he went all the way over! Danny actually managed to flash that wall, and Summit's completely out of position as a result. Impact's getting shredded, but they just don't have the damage. The Chompers, I think, are going to save C9, but Danny oh. is going off! Zeri is disgusting as Danny...
Johnny is going to find two. Make it three. The man has the pen oh, in his eye. Another Penta. Go for it. Go for it. Danny Penta. It seems to happen all the time. Jojo, you absolute yeah. jerk. There we go. No, what's going on? Where's Danny? He doesn't care. He does his waiting. Danny's going to give it to him. There's the Penta kill. A donation from Cloud9 as EG take game number two. Danny the Penta. This one was given to him by both Fudge and his teammates, and yet still, he delivers again. Would you like to know an NA player? Well, never mind. We'll hold that thought for a second. Summit trying to keep them <laughs> off. They actually can't finish again. So oh I'll give my him a little tidbit. Would you like to know that, what other North American the Bear Nexus and EG bearing down on them in another game here? Here we go, Summit finds the angle, but again, Danny might just find his way out. He's low with the shields. They're gonna keep him alive. He does finally dive, and Jojo takes the reins of the team fight. Make it double digit kills for the Phenom as EG are gonna storm through this base, take out the Nexus, and push Cloud9. You must win three games in a row. Get the tweets ready, because EG are 2 0 up in this series. Nicole, buy the plane tickets now if you haven't. Evil geniuses looking towards Houston with big eyes. They are hungry, Pastry Time.